how to show all products on one page on Shopify. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can show all of your products into only one page or your home page into Shopify. It is very easy and very simple. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over Shopify. Then sign in into your store and account. After you have set that, you need to charge and also load all of your products that you are going to add into this specific website. Either you can go ahead and import in bulk or add manually one-on-one -on -one products. So after you have set all of these, now we are going to head over online store. So now we need to see the uh, URL of our Shopify store. We're going to click on view your store. Then we are going to visit the uh, Shopify store that we have. As you can see on the home page or any of these pages, we can not see all of the products. So all we need to do is to get a link or a specific product a link that will cite all of our products right there. So go ahead to the uh, Shopify store right here URL. Then you are going to set up here a uh, like that. Go ahead and follow these steps. Go ahead and set uh, this separator. You're going to type collection. Then you're going to set up another separator. You're going to type in all. So we are going to click on OK. And then we are going to see the uh, page here. I have made a issue right there on the collections. We have only con collections, not collection. And boom, here we have all of the products that are cited on the product section. You can see here that we have a lot of um, pages. Here we have all the pages that contain our products. So we have it right there. So now we have the page. We are going to delete that. Get that specific page, copy the URL from here. Go back to the Shopify. Now we are going to the uh, online store. We are going to choose pages. Here you can go ahead and create a page. For example, you can add a page or you can go to the navigation. Then you are going to click on main menu. So right here, we are going to add an item. If you don't want to create a page, you can go ahead and add a menu item that contain a specific page. Go ahead and click on add menu item. Then you are going to set the name of it. So we are going to uh, name it all the products. Now for the search or paste link, we are going to paste the link that we have created. It will show you here the link. Go ahead and make sure you are going to click on it. Then we are going to click on add. Here we have the all of the products. Go ahead and add it right there above or enter home or wherever you want to add it. Click on save. And then we are going to visit our store again. So we are going to refresh that page until we see the menu added. So go ahead and refresh it again. Some few refreshes are required to see that specific one. Now the menu is saved. We are going to wait for a few seconds. As you can see, after a few attempts, we have all the products menu. When you are going to click on it, boom, here we have it. All the pages or all the products are available right there. You can go ahead and see them uh, right there. So you can do this specific steps that we have uh, added to the all the products to another or an existing menu item. For example, if you want to showcase all the products on the home page, all we need to do is to click on edit. Now, here we are going to um, uh, click on the X mark right there. We are going instead of setting the home page, we are going to set up all collection right there. Click on apply changes, save and boom. So now I'm going to visit my website. 
and see that it will show me all the pages in the home page. Click on here and we're going to wait for a few seconds. We are on the home page and boom, here we have it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.